Hi guys, it's Elise, and today is what? Day 17, 13 more days, 13 more days, guys. Praise the Lord, 13 more days. I am so excited. Um, today we are part two for cheating. Today we are talking about spouses um, cheating, and we are focusing on the wife's. Yes, wives cheat too. Wives cheat too. So, let's get down to it. Um, the scripture we're going to use today is going to be Mark eleven twenty five, And we're just going to start off with prayer first. Father God, we come to you this evening just to say thank you, Lord. Thank you that we are overcomers of hurt in our marriages. We're overcomers of adultery. We're forgiven. We're understanding according to God. We're able to not hate and just lift them up and pray for the perpetrator, for our spouse that has went out on our marriage. We forgive them and we pray and lift them up and pray that you would direct them the right path. Pray that they would show the undeniable, unconditional love towards us and that we would be do the same. Praying that our hearts are forgetful and we can forget about things that hurt us and not continue to dwell upon them. Thank you, O oh God, that we can grow even stronger as one and not separate and not allow outsiders to intervene in our marriages. Thank you, Lord, that across the universe we are covered by the blood of Jesus and our covenant is healed. It's solid. It's one. Yes, God, we thank you right now because you said to ask and it shall be given. You said to knock and that the door will be answered. Father God, we're knocking. We're just asking that you bless our marriages. Keep us as one. Help us to see eyes, have eyes for each other, spouse, husband, and wife, not outsiders, oh God. Help us to be desirable to our spouses. Help us to be charmed by our spouses, not look for these things outside of our marriage. Oh God, I lift up our single women and single men that are contemplating marriage. And I pray, Lord, that you allow them to begin to continue to build their foundation, that they don't even have to go through a cheating spouse, that they don't even have to worry or even doubt in their mind that their spouses will go out on them. Oh, God, let them seek you. Let them read your word. Let them plant seeds and allow it to grow, oh, God, that when they do walk in matrimony, oh, God, that you would bless their union in your mighty son, Jesus' name, amen. And guys, let's go. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, you guys. I had a long day at work. But we're going to read Mark 11 at verse 25. And it reads, And whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, so that, if you have anything against anyone, so that God, your Father, also in heaven may forgive you. You have to forgive those. Even when you have to forgive the person that cheated with your husband on you, you have to forgive them. I mean, truly from your heart, you have to forgive them. You can't hate them. You can't badmouth them. You can't talk about them. You have to forgive them and you have to move on. I'm not saying that you have to go and be their friends, but no, you love them. Keep it moving. And if you choose to be with your spouse, when they go out on you and you forgive them and you forgive them the same. God forgives us. We have done so many things that God was not pleased with. But guess what? He forgave us and he's not coming back saying, hey, remember what you did, Elise? So let's get ready to rumble, guys. So remember Mark 11 and 25 and I'll put that in the comments so you guys can keep that as another um, scripture to set that foundation guys now today we're aiming at the women women cheat just like um men cheat men i mean women have wondering eyes now i've never cheated in my marriage so i don't know how to explain that for me but i have witnessed i have been around friends that go out i have a guy friend i have a excuse me a girlfriend that cheats on her spouse 
you know? It's tit for tat. Maybe your spouse cheated on you, your husband cheated on you, and you're just going to go and get revenge. I have um, a childhood friend that, my God, she slept with everybody, and she was married, and she had no conscience, and even... Her husband knew about it, but yet he forgave her, and he wanted to make it work. He did everything that he could. He forgave her. He didn't bring it back up. He just continued to try to show her that whatever it was that made her cheat on him, whatever he needed to do to stop her from cheating on him, he went out of his way. Long story short, it didn't work because sometimes it won't work. It has to be two, two wanting to make that bond work. When, when one's heart is not there and they're really set in their mind until they are ready to seek God and open up and go and not allow Satan to set that stubbornness in or that hatred in, then it will work. But when you allow flesh to direct you, then you're kind of lost until you decide that you want to come in and you want to allow God to direct you. Um, God gives us a free will. So I'm just saying, ladies, we may go out there and we may see men that may be finer than our husbands, may have more money than our husbands, may tell you things that... Um, your husband hasn't told you in a while or ever told you at all may um, bring out another person in you. I've seen women where they're conservative and a man um, compliments them or has conversation with them or tries to even talk to them and they do a 360. They go from conservative to basically exploiting themselves by wearing revealing clothes. They want um, the guy to see them in a whole different way. But you know what? That's the trick of the enemy, guys. Um, ladies, we don't have to um, do all that. Um, if your husband doesn't compliment you, if your husband doesn't show you how much he loves you, then you talk with him. And you don't go have an argument with him. You pray about it. Then you go talk about it. Read scriptures over it. Write it down. Take it to your prayer wall. And continue to do it. And don't nag your spouse about it. And don't um go out on him because he's not moving at your speed. Some men just don't even do that. Um, and then be careful because Satan is a, a, um, setting you up. Satan knows what you because you probably have expressed it out loud. You probably have been communicating with your friends and saying how you want to do this and that. And Satan will set you up. And guess what? You'll go out on your husband. And you may even cause that divorce in your marriage. And still, God will bring, allow, so because your husband has free right to leave because free of adultery. It works both ways. What God has said for us, it goes for men too. So what if you lose your husband to someone and because of your doing and um, God cleared them from your um, union and then God blessed them with a wife that loved everything about him. You then come to realize that, wow, I had a great man, but you wanted something else. That's flesh. So that's why we have to pray over our spouse. We have to pray over ourselves because those spirits get on us. And we have to continue to want to just bless our union. In your intimacy, if your husband's not pleasing you, you guys can talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, give it to God. Pray. I had a woman tell me, I thought she was weird, but when I listened and I started doing it, it's true. You pray, women, and you pray over your intimacy with your husband. And you ask God to be there in the midst. It's a relationship between you, God, and your spouse. So, therefore, you ask God, this is my prayer. Lord, let me be the desire of my husband. Let him be the desire of me. Let me 
please him mentally, physically, in every way, and vice versa. You have to speak these things. Get that word. Tune in your word with the way that you live your marriage daily. Single women, start doing it now. Single men, start doing it now. Get that word out, which is your tool. Read that word. Speak over your um, fiancé. If your boyfriend is, if you think that this may be your husband, then you start praying and prepping and getting it together. And God will reveal. Don't you reveal it. God will reveal it to you if that is going to be your um, husband. I'm telling you, stop falling weak, women. Stop going out on your husbands because you don't feel like he's saying enough or doing enough or don't have enough. I'm telling you, it's a setup of the enemy. Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you that the women will understand and appreciate what they have in the man of God as their husband. I pray for those husbands that they open their eyes and ears and see and seek you, Lord, to see what their wives need so that they do not go and cheat. Father God, I ask that you just bless the man and the woman, that they are desires of each other, mentally and physically, in communication and in intimacy and in finances and everything that consumes the marriage according to you, O oh God. Lord, bless my marriage across this universe, Lord. I thank you for marriages reconciling, forgiveness just exploding in households across this universe that we can forgive our husbands for going out, that we can forgive our wives for going out, and that we can rekindle and march together as one, being that one accord, being that one flesh, being that one covenant. Father God, it's all about you. And Lord, you are over the marriages. You designed it, oh God. Bless, oh God. Go and bless, oh God. Bless continuously in my house, oh God. Bless my mouth, oh God, that when I speak about a covenant, a union, oh God, that the anointings just flows, that it goes on my friends, my single friends, my married friends, my single family members, my married family family members. Father God, I thank you right now that I will be an example of a true woman of God, a true married wife, and I will show all these young women across these universe how to be a young lady, how to be a wife, a good wife starting today in Jesus name Lord I thank you for day 17 13 more days for marriage prayers for 30 days I thank you oh God for the gift that you've given me oh God I thank you oh God and it is so now guys as you can see I'm so sleepy I've been really working and I just pray that you have peace in your marriages. And I pray that you just celebrate now because in 13 more days, we are going to celebrate. Rejoice, rejoice. All across the universe, our marriages are saved. Covered by the blood. Sorry, Satan. You lose. We win. I love you guys.